So for a while now, the Challenger tractor has had an exhaust leak and it's been getting a little bit more and more noticeable and then I guess yesterday, Kevin noticed that it was pretty noticeable where he could hear it. And so, oh, yeah. <laughs> so today he has decided to take a look at it and see if he can fix it. All right, so show him where the boys thought the exhaust well, was. The the, manif the exhaust manifold on here has a little crack right here, but it's it's not there so much. But if you, it's hard to tell. I may not be able to, but if I had a flashlight. But there's a hairline crack that goes around this pipe. So and we're gonna pull it off and see what it looks like back there. So first we gotta take this heat shield off and then unbolt it from the turbo and then that bolt, so. So what he's planning on doing is putting a piece of uh, steel around it and welding that on it and seeing if that will fix the exhaust leak. If not, he may need to just replace the whole elbow eventually. You need help? Well, no. Good, Smaller different, hands? Different tool. Well, I can get it if you want me to. No, I think I can get it. Uh, sometimes you gotta use two hands, but if there's a nut on the back side, that may be. So is having an exhaust leak a bad thing? Well, it's not preferably a good thing. Oh, but it doesn't harm the tractor, it doesn't well, make it less powerful or... No, but it depends where it's at. Do you it, need help here? No, I'm getting it. There. This is self-threaded, so this should come out of So yeah, this is your heat shield that goes on the turbo. So, I gotta finish taking these bolts out. And when we overhauled the engine a few years ago, put all new studs in it. So it went nice. Some of you are probably wondering if we have heat in the workshop. And yeah. we don't actually have heat, but we do have a ready heater. So we can warm ourselves when we need to by standing by that. Yeah, we have heat. The, the, uh, yeah. the shop isn't insulated. This here is our heater. So, when we're cold, just turn that on, warms us right up. It does a pretty good job. Yeah, keeps it. Keeps it comfortably working temperature. Kevin don't like it too warm. A little more. Oh! I'm hoping I don't have to loosen this up. Yeah, me too. I'll be a moment here while we figure out what to do. Okay. You guys take a break. We'll think about it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so while you guys were waiting, we decided that we needed to take this, the shield off because he can't get that off. Logic tells me it can't come off that way without... This has got to slide up, and we're going to have to loosen the bolts that hold this to allow some play. Because it can't slide when you got bolts. Yeah, it's all loose. Like that. So. So, we took the shield off, the shield heat up. shield, and now we're going to clean it up and take, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five bolts. So you're going to take the mounting plate off. Well, we're gonna just loosen it up so it loosens all this up. Try that. Hey, look at that! Very nice. Um. This yeah. Is, get a pry bar and probably take that. Pry bar. Almost. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
don't think I can do it. Got no help. Not, not with me, no. You want me to do that one? Sure, I guess. Yeah, let's switch. We're just loosening the bolts. Yeah. How's my hand get so dirty with just a wrench? I tell ya. What are you looking for? Longer, stronger. Hey, yeah. like, like this. Nope. Next it off. See how easy that went? Yeah. Find your way. No. Rusty. Yeah. I remember how many hours you got. Oh, you want to get that one? But you gotta go from the other way. Okay. Yeah, you gotta put your, oh. put your weedies into it. Not my preferable plan of action either, but. We gotta switch? No. Hi. What uh, one was I using? The 18? Yeah, let's switch out. Hey, we're coming. <sighs> nice. So we ended up having to take the muffler loose. It's bungee cord up there to the light. Oh wow. What? Yeah. Oh wow. That did have an exhaust leak all the way up. Yeah. So. So our ears were right. That's your leak. Got it. All right. Bless you. Set it on the bed. So I'll see if I can patch all that. Back in the workshop, it's evening now. It's after hours. After hours. But we are back. Kevin's got the muffler welded up and fixed. He'll tell you about it. Um, but we had to take a break, do some farm stuff. Now we're back at putting it together. Did you show the piece that was all rotted out? Uh, I think I did, yeah. Okay. If I didn't, here it is. All right, what we did, they took a grinder and I cut out all the old... Uh, rusty? Yep, everything that was rusty, thin metal, so we ground all that out. And then I took a piece of this pipe, cut a chunk of it out, and I shoved it up in there, so it butted right here. Then I welded this all the way around. And then, <clears throat> there was a gap here. So I took a rod, laid it in there, just a metal rod, and then I welded. So it's kind of a bumbly weld, but it's all sealed up. So, um, yeah, so. New word. Bumbly. Bumbly weld. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, it. Uh, so you had to, well, you did a bead here? Yeah, this was split too, so, we, so I laid a new bead on that, but you can see the piece that I cut in there. And that's going to fit over and this fits the muffler? In, fits inside. Oh, the, inside. Okay. Inside. So, so some of you would say, well, maybe that's an air restriction, but it's not. It's the same size. It's the same line as this coming out. I just... Uh, okay, so this line is the same as this. Yeah. This is just this is a little just bit a, wider. Yeah, to a collar to fit on. Yeah. There to pinch. So, so yeah, and then the, I had to retape some of the it's a heat shield. There yeah, heat shield. There we go. So Kevin's gonna go up there, lift up the muffler. What? I gotta put it on. I gotta block it up so that he doesn't have to hold the weight of it the whole time. Let's see how this goes. Just the two of us. Oh, everybody else is working on something else. Okay, you got it.
So we got it fixed. Yeah, we did fixed, a good job. We fixed the exhaust leak. Um, we just had it running and everything seemed all right. All the exhaust was going out where it's supposed to. So. Sounds good. And uh, so yeah, that little project done. Yep. And uh, we'll button this up, put the hood down, and you gotta put a shield on yet, but yeah. I think we'll be good. But you didn't show them the other surprise, did you? I didn't know what the surprise was. Oh. What's the surprise? Tell me my ear. The clutch getting it out video. Oh no. We'll, we'll soon show you the clutch getting it. Replacing the clutch on the tandem. So, so that's a got, video that is coming up. It's coming up, but we got it all out. Yeah. So hopefully. I was going to wait until we had it all back together. But, but Kevin says I think make two different videos yeah. out of it. Leave your opinions in the comments below about that. <laughs> <laughs> and the, you can see that I hurt my finger. Actually, I reopened up a cut when I was butchering the cow. Because she wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I forgot. I was wearing a Band-Aid this morning and then... Tonight, I'm not wearing a Band-Aid, so. Okay. Hi. Thanks everyone for watching. watching. Yeah. Thanks, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're having a very blessed day and we will see you on the next video. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>